We're continuing to try and plow through the list of things we have to do before we move on the bus, <laughs> which is like everything. But we're focusing on the bathroom today and we're trying to find the best way to build our walls and tie them into the main ribs. So the only thing we're gonna have 100% done before we move out is going to be the composting toilet, but the fan will be, the wires will be run, but that won't even be going yet. So hopefully we don't get too stinky in here. So you need from floor to top, uh, two by three there. Mm -hmm. and a quarter. Thank you, sir. So we're trying to tie into these furring strips go along the span of the roof and then tie into um, the ribs on the wall. So we're gonna pocket jig the wall supports into that furring strip and then into um, the floor down here. So we will have one support lining up with that rib in the wall, one support lining up with that rib in the wall, that one, that one. Um, so that's the plan for now. We'll see how it works. We were gonna do like a another support beam up top, but it's like why we already have ones there. So we're just trying to conserve wood because it's expensive. But that's the plan for now for the walls. We're talking about different materials we're gonna use once everything's all said and done. And I think as of now, the plan is to have all of the walls be tile. Um, the floor will be like these teak tiles. Um, my dad had suggested looking at teak and I, when I looked initially, it was wildly expensive, but I didn't know there were like little tiles that you can do. Um, anyway, those are not too expensive. They're super cute. So we're probably going to go that way. So thank you, dad. That was a good suggestion. And then, um, probably for the ceiling, we're going to do like a cedar thing. Um, and that will also be what is used for like the, um, compartments next to the toilet. They hold the toilet paper and the, um, whatever organic material we're using to mix with the poo for making it a composting situation. Um, and then also, um, Shane had a good idea. Obviously the one thing we really don't want to get wet in the bathroom because we want the bathroom to be like a whole wet space. I want the toilet to be able to, you know, just like spray it down. Um, he wants to do like a weather stripping thing on the toilet lid so that when we close it, it seals it and there's no water getting in there. That's the plan for now. Um, yeah, so Shane's cutting the pieces to tie them into the ribs and yeah, so that looks like that works. Now we got a Craig jig it like everything else. Yeah. What did that measurement end up being? Um, it didn't matter. I'll just take that and <laughs> trace it. Well, it's a seven degree cut at the end. That means so much to me. For this, because it adds the whole angle. It's no, like I, under across. I understand, but I don't, you know. All right, y'all, it's a seven degree angle at the top. <laughs> I don't know, man. 76. So, <laughs> Shane, I think, hates that I care about this, but I swear it's gonna be important. Um, once again, we have stuff hitting metal, right? Like it's tying into this wooden block, but on this side, it's gonna hit metal. So I'm gonna cut more of this thin pink insulation to create, um, I don't even remember the terminology anymore. It's been so long. Um, it, the thermal bridge is bad. So that's a thermal break. I think that's right. So anyway, doing that again, um, as always, anything that touches the ceiling, I want there to be some kind of buffer there to help keep the heat from coming in. So I feel like we're doing a lot of things that may or may not work. We'll see. We already talk about our next bus and what we'll do differently. So, you know, be kind. We're doing the best we can.
I'll add that on the list of tools at the end. Fist. Hammer fist. <laughs> That one good? Yeah. You seem unsatisfied. I'm always unsatisfied. Wow. So, sorry about your life. Why don't they just make shit in buses square? I mean, they're not meant to live in. Alright. Okay. Are you just gonna do that over and over? Are you just gonna poke you your built out of wood. We built our wood. <laughs> such a dumb thing. Uh, we built our wood. We um, did it. We did it. What? What? What's? There's some kid's song in there. I'm thinking of. We did it. We did it. Yeah, I think that'll work. Yeah. So this pipe, this wall will come across right here. <laughs> I need your drill real quick. And you. On this side of the board. Okay, so we got our <clears throat> composting toilet kit off Etsy from um, a guy slash store called Johnny Compost. Um, we got the extra large urine diverter because kids have horrible aim. Um, everybody will need to sit down to use it, but you know. Um, but it came with a lot of specific directions that we may or may not use all of them, but there's a template for cutting what you need to out of, we're just using like a Home Depot bucket. Um, but what you have to cut out to then set this in there. So that's what Shane's working on now. A good template. Not a good template at all. Okay. <laughs> what can we do? We just want to buy a new bucket and cut it shorter? The bucket's cheap, or do we. Does it matter that that's open? Um, I mean, yeah, if pee splashes down, it's just flying around inside, right? No, I mean, because this is your, your vent, this is the hose, but. So we should just get a new Home Depot bucket because they're like four bucks. Agreed. So we have the first wall up in the bathroom. It's just tacked up with nails right now. We're gonna screw it in um, because this is gonna hold um, possibly some heavy stuff like the water heater. So we want it to be pretty stable, but it's up for now. 
Um, we're working on all the details of the composting toilet. Shane is outside cutting the boards to go around the toilet. I'll show you kind of the diagram that the toilet comes with, but he's outside cutting these pieces. I'm inside trying to find screws that'll fit um, these different pieces because I need to, we're gonna do a roof vent. So this needs to all come together. We need to drill a hole in the roof and put like a vent down through the roof. And this um, is the fan. And then there's a jug for urine, which we're not doing. We're gonna divert it to the gray water tank, which we don't have yet. So it'll just go into a bucket under the bus until we're further along. My phone doesn't want to give me more storage or more battery, so um, it's dying and full, so I'll give you a quick rundown of what we've done so far, and then I'm gonna insulate go and cover up this wall with really thin plywood, because ultimately it's going to be tile and or teak wood and or lots of different things. Um, we have this all hooked up. The urine diverter just fell down, but uh, it goes in there. We need to secure the bucket in there so it doesn't move around when the kids sit down or mess with it. We have that installed, which is the hose that um, vents out the smell from the urine diverter. And um, this isn't fully installed yet because we need to do the wall and then we'll push it all the way against the wall and install it until we're ready to do tile and the final, fi um, final finishes. Wake up, flash cap. <laughs> See what I mean? Right. I just put the camera on you and you just do right. stupid stuff. So we're just putting the hinge. But is on. that what? Look at you! You look like you're about to yak in the toilet. <laughs> yak in my pooper. <laughs> Where should that go in the solid waste or the liquid waste? That should just go out the window. Okay. And we can hose it off the side of the bus. Got it. Anyways, so as you can see, as I love to say that, um, we are putting the hinge on our John toilet commode. Whatever you want to call it. Commode. I always hated that Head. word. Head? Is that head what they're called? The military. Oh, really? Yeah, I think something like that. You gotta go to the head or something like that. Uh, anyways. So we're putting that on. Um, so basically, I just marked a measurement um, three and three eighths here um, from the edge. And that's where it's gonna line up at. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and just mark all these little holes with a pencil. I'm gonna pre-drill them. And then I'm going to do the same thing on the lid. That way it all lines up, hopefully. Um, and I'm trying to remember what we even showed previously because, yeah, the bathroom day was interesting. But um, a doozy. the urine diverter tube is not long enough, the one that came with the kit. Um, you don't want it too long because... I don't remember why, just because it's nasty well, and it'll, stinky, it'll right? Create a, it can create an uh, like an air area gap where it gets stuck. the urine to get trapped into. Okay, so the recommendation was to <clears throat> have the distance be as short as possible, and not to have the and like the tip of the tube sitting in 
um, wherever the urine was being diverted into. So we don't have our tank yet. I think I mentioned that we're just gonna drill a hole for where the tank will eventually be and it's gonna go into another like orange Home Depot bucket below until we get that situated. Um, <clears throat> this is the like exhaust air vent thing um, that makes the situation less stinky. Um, <clears throat> the situation. <laughs> We need to trim it because we need to get the fan on there and we just need to reduce the size in general. We just haven't. Um, we wanted this to be as close to the wall as possible. So we did this on an angle and like put the block there to, yeah. Anyway, uh, don't put it on an angle. The outside plastic piece, if you use something like this, the outside plastic piece um, on the roof cracked. Um, it could not handle the angle um, and it's fine. We fix it and all is well, but yeah, we should have just went straight up and you can vent it through the ceiling um or the wall or the floor or whatever but vent it through the ceiling because we thought that would be the least stinky situation and then shane pointed out that then we'll just smell stuff on the deck but who knows i've heard from people it's really not that bad so um anyway that's how far we are in the bathroom shane's putting the hinge on the top lid um and then we're going to put the plan is to put uh the hot water heater we're doing an electric one the hot water heater and um what else was going back here it's gonna be the it's gonna be the hoses and stuff or peat moss that's right it we're is. trying to figure out where to store our peat moss so since we have our toilet going that way and not this way um and the wall stops here we don't have a ton of room on the side so we'll see how all this works out um and then we're gonna have shelves back here and then we'll probably have an access on this side of the bathroom wall to to get to the water heater and the tubes to do any kind of maintenance and stuff we need. Um, and then we'll just Make either work. lock it from the inside or do do something. We're all over the place with what that will be and it's hard to explain until we physically have the pieces, but um, the bathroom is coming along is the point. Um, oh, all the screws just went everywhere. I'm gonna stop this and get the splinter out of my hand and help chain pick up all the screws because I'm nice like that. <laughs> We have our beautiful little hinge in there now. It was perfect, it works perfect, but Shane's a perfectionist and has to tweak stuff until I'm super annoyed. That's what's taking so long on the bus. It's not me, it's not me how slow I do things. See, look, perfect. Now we can lift this up and get the poop bag out or make Preston do it, but it won't be so bad. There's the fan we need to attach. And we're gonna secure um, this bucket so that it doesn't move around because even just a slight discrepancy would cause pee in those spots they shouldn't be. Yeah, I mean, anybody who has a little boy or a husband knows that to be true. It will be a requirement to sit your butt down in this toilet, on this toilet, not in this toilet. We'll have it about right right here. Right there. Look at that beautiful pooper. I love it. Still so much to be done to it, but it's, it's pretty cute. I like if it. If you needed to, you could poop in it. You could. Right now, you could poop right now. Demonstra <laughs> demonstrate. Demonstrate. <laughs> so we got the bucket for the toilet anchored in. Um, all Shane did was put the bucket down there, trace it, and then do little uh, two by two blocks to hold it steady and then um, two by twos on either side um, of the main toilet box to hold it steady. We haven't even anchored this into the bus necessarily and it's, I mean, it's solid. So I don't know any reason that we wouldn't wanna just go ahead and anchor it into, but anyway, that's, that's how we did that. Okay, so we added um, a screw and a couple washers in there to hold, help hold this steady. Again, we're worried about the kids messing with it and then urine going places it shouldn't go. And then um, anchored it into the wall here and then there's a two by two support in the back. So that should be plenty to keep this thing steady. So now we're gonna install the toilet seat. So 
I didn't record it because it was a crazy morning um, and we were using our phones for other things. We had to make some things. Holy shit. The hatch was propped up and it just fell down. <laughs> it scared me to death. <laughs> it's been a wild few days, five years, who knows. Um, anyway, we didn't have our phones, we weren't um, recording. So we put in a wall, the main wall, um, for the bathroom today. Um, it's just the like three thick plywood on our two by three beams. Um, so it looks like that inside. So we have this all framed and boxed in. Um, the ceiling will fill that gap. Um, I need to sand on the inside here, although more wood will be going on and we'll be tiling eventually. Uh, tile mixed with cedar slash teak situations, but we don't know for sure. But in the meantime, we're moving in like this and I don't want the kids to tear up their fingers and get splinters because they rub their hands and face all over everything. So um, I'm gonna sand that up, but um, we got the tube, the vent air tube thingy all secured in. Um, we got the fan installed. The wires are all run as far as like we know how much we need, but we needed to cut it before we could run it through that space back there. Um, but yeah, so this is kind of what the bathroom situation is going to look like. We again are going to have the water heater back there. I think the water pump is going to be under with the water tank, but I don't remember. I can never remember that detail for some reason. Um, what else did I want to share with you? So that's all good. This, so I was just thinking about this wall. Um, we're not gonna have a lot of walls in this space. So there's some really cool wallpaper I wanna use. I can't wait till you see what I use in the front entryway because people think I'm crazy. But this wall, I might wallpaper or paint white and put pictures on, but like we're, we don't hang a lot of pictures as it is anyway. The kids like to like art they've done. So I was thinking about making this big old bathroom wall. So there's gonna be um, a door. We're gonna have like a barn door of sorts that lives here, right? Like it sits here and then it, it slides over and closes this space because this is all um, shower, right? But if we want, and when we close it, I was thinking about wallpapering this to, you know, just the edges and then doing that like, um, you know, they have like chalkboard paint and things like that. So I could wallpaper the edges and then do like framing pieces, like little like finish pieces around just like a certain space. Um, and then do that chalkboard paint or even like a magnetic paint. Um, I don't know if they're one and the same because I know chalkboards technically are magnetic, but the paint necessarily isn't. So anyway, um, something like that for the kids to you know, draw on, um, hang up their artwork, whatever, just um, kind of more stuff to play with and do back here. So kind of like that idea. I don't know if Shane will be annoyed with me because then he has to build the sliding barn door out more and it's a pretty decent hallway right now. Like it's not feeling too bad right here. Like we were very worried. This is the one spot where we were going to officially have a wall and we were worried about tight hallways, but it doesn't feel bad at all. Like we, when we first, when we bought our first home, I remember looking at homes that were built in like the forties and fifties that the hallways were crazy tight and the bathrooms were little and pink and all kinds of weird stuff. Um, but anyway, uh, just an idea I had, we'll see if that's what we end up doing. I think that'd be fun and the kids would enjoy it. Another thing we have to be careful about back here. What's well, a, it's, it's a whole other level of trying to do things when there are kids involved, right? Like we have these amazing windows that we love and we love having open and the airflow is great, but Ellis standing up on this wheel well, any of them, but especially Ellis, cause he's little and doesn't know better, standing up on this wheel well and that window open like that, his little butt could just go right over. So those will be closed and we'll just um, open the top parts of them cause they still open like regular windows too. So. Um, and that at least the center of it will be above his center of gravity. So we should be okay there. Um, but yeah, I wanted to say something. Um, people have reached out sometimes privately, which is cool. And I appreciate because that's respectful, but I'm worried about certain things with the kids safety. Um, please don't ever feel like you can't say stuff like that. Um, please, when it comes to my kids safety, like we, Shane and I, would much rather someone politely, right? Like we're not trying to be bad parents, but if we're doing something stupid or not thinking something through, please call us out. 
Um, I think any other parents could relate. If your kids are in an unsafe situation, you want someone to jump in and be like, hey, you may have not thought about this because we have a million things going on. Um, please tell us, please, 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 please. Any and all pointers that have to do with our children's safety, awesome. Um, and if we ever don't take a suggestion based on a build, it's not that we didn't take the consideration um, and weigh it uh, or take the suggestion and weigh it amongst all the other options. We always do. We take everybody's comments and suggestions very seriously. Um, and I probably drive Shane insane with how much I go back and forth on stuff based on people's comments. Um, cause we want to do things right as much as we can afford to and, you know, are able to, um, but everybody's preferences and how they'll handle things is different. But, um, anyway, if I've ever seemed like I wasn't appreciative of comments, I apologize. That's never been my intention. I very much appreciate input of all kinds. Um, but yeah, um, just wanted to take a moment to say that in case anyone has ever felt otherwise please keep the comments coming um we appreciate it because um yeah our kids safety is obviously very important to us so thank you guys we appreciate it i think that's about as far as we're gonna get with the bathroom for now um so yeah as always thank you for watching we'll see you guys next time wasp just flew in the bus so let me through let me through let me through <laughs> he went out oh i hate wasps i love bees i hate wasps there's a bunch of them outside of the house anyway <laughs>